Could you act? Wow. It was a really good time watching Keith go after those ptarmigan with his bow. Missed him. That arrow went forever, didn't yeah. it? Yeah. Oh well. You've got to be kidding me. In addition to all the caribou you'll see out here, there, there's a, some really incredible, interesting birds. They're ptarmigan. And uh, they, they actually, I've learned that they change color over time uh, so that to camouflage themselves. And when we got here in early October, they've all gone white. And uh, we did some ptarmigan hunting, and it was a really great time to watch Keith go after them birds and just a, a really fine hunt. There you go. They're about the size of a chucker, and boy, are they good eating. See the different colors of the feathers? They're absolutely beautiful birds. Plentiful, and the limit up here is very generous. And a lot of hunters that come up here will wind up taking a shotgun and hunt for caribou and then have a shotgun with them so they can take some of these guys. Things aren't always going to work out the way you want them to. And like I said, I've never been outside the United States hunting. This is about as far north as I would want to go. But just to brave the elements, we basically, you know, we, we roughed it. You know, it's kind of like the military a little bit, but we roughed it for about five or six days. And, and as far as the fellowship in and around camp at night, sitting around, what did you see? What did you see? Hearing the stories seeing people's eyeballs get big when they saw that one big bull but they couldn't quite get it. That's what it's about. That's what hunting is all about. It's not about the thrill of the kill. It's, you know, being in the outdoors and really loving nature. As fun as, and, and joking as, as Aaron Cini can be, and uh, just really the entertainment of the camp, there's a serious side to him as well. And last night, he wanted to thank Keith Warren for bringing him on this hunt. It was the most tear-jerking event I think I've been in. There wasn't a dry eye in the camp. Uh, Aaron presented Keith with one of his purple hearts and a flag from, that was flown over the embassy in Baghdad and framed for Keith. Just to thank, not just for Aaron, but for all the American servicemen and women that protect our country, to thank Keith for what he does to support them, and it was a real moving moment. I'd like to thank you for watching our videos on our YouTube channel, and if you'd like to win a crossbow, a Yukon cold locker, or some other great prizes, make sure and tune in to our YouTube channel the week of October the 14th through 18th for Crossbow Week. All week long, we'll have a video a day on the subject of crossbows, hunts, tips, product reviews, and more. You'll also get the chance to win a bunch of cool prizes. Don't forget, tune in to my YouTube channel October the 14th through 18th for Crossbow Week.